Hynorinca are yellowish brown and typically range from 0.13 to 1.04 millimeters. Their bodies can easily be divided into 13 zonites or segments. The first segment is the head, with a retractable oracle cone and a mouth. The head and pharynx can be retracted and covered with plates called placids on the second body segment. Differences in the number and closing mechanisms of these plates are often used to distinguish species and higher taxonomic groups. Kynorinca have head retractor muscles as well as head cone retractor muscles stretching between the base of the head scalids and the mouth cone to the posterior trunk segments. Because their heads can retract, these animals are pseudocolumates and have a spacious anterior body cavity to allow for this retraction. The mouth leads into a buccal cavity that is followed by a sucking pharynx and esophagus, all of which are lined with cuticle. The neck is the second zonite made up of 16 placids, which can fold over the head when it is retracted. The remaining 11 zonites make up the animal's trunk. Each of these zonites is covered with a turgal dorsal and a pair of sternal ventral plates. These plates are comprised of a chitinous basal layer and a membrane-like epicuticle. These form the rigid exoskeleton of the Kynorinca. Their digestive and reproductive organs exist within a blastocoelic space. Kynorinca excretes waste via a pair of protonephridii located in the 8th and 9th trunk zonites, dorsolateral to the gut. These open through pores in the body cuticle and may have microvilli for absorption. Gas diffusion takes place across the body wall and circulates by diffusion through the body cavity. Kynorinca live in upper well-oxygenated sediment layers. They may also be found on sandy beaches and algae or associated with other invertebrates such as sponges. They can sometimes be found in relatively high densities, up to 45 animals per 10 centimeters cubed, but these animals are considered solitary. A fun fact about Kynorinca is that they can be found from depths of 8 meters to 8,000 meters. Mating has only been observed in one species. In this case, a male and female position themselves so their ventral posterior ends face each other with the mucosal mass surrounding their posterior end. The mating system is known as the polygonadrous where multiple males and females partake. Both males and females have paired gonads and short gonaducts. Males have two or three hollow, often rigid spicules associated with their gonopores. When present, placement of these spicules varies from species to species. Females have both germ cells and nutritive cells in their gonads and oviducts with seminal receptacles. Their gonopores open between the 12th and the 13th zonites. Their bodies are covered with multiple spines which are movable extensions of the body wall. The spines around the head are used to help pull these animals along the benthos where they deposit feed on diatoms, bacteria, and other organic matter in their substrate. These spines are used for locomotion with drawing the head and pushing forward then grouping the substrate with the spines while drawing up the body. Kynorinca are likely direct deposit feeders consuming benthic diatoms and organic material, including bacteria and other unicellular algae and substrates. Some species have longitudinal cuticular rods, which may aid in filtering bacteria. Those that feed on diatoms may collect the algae on their head, scalids, to be ingested later or directly suck them in through the pharynx. The pharynx may be protruded from the mouth for this purpose by the pharynx protractor muscles. The primary diet is plankton and dead organic material. Little is known about egg production and early development in this group, except that females provide yolk and an egg case for their eggs. Further parental investment is unknown. Fertilized eggs are deposited in egg cases and embryos undergo direct development to juvenile stages, emerging with 11 of their 13 body segments fully formed. The final two segments, as well as a number of head scalids, are added during a series of six molts as Kynorinca progress to adulthood. Molting has only been observed in adults of two species. There is currently no information available regarding the typical lifespan of Kynorinx. Previously thought to not have any evidence of Kynorinca in the fossil record, there is no evidence for Kynorinca existing millions of years ago. However, one single fossil, Echinorhynchus rarus, was discovered by French naturalist Félix de Jarnin on the north coast of France in 1841. Scientists believe that Echinorhynchia evolved 535 million years ago. There are no known hypotheses for how Kynorinca originated, as only very few species have been studied out of the 200 discovered. 
So there is some uncertainty placement on the phylogenetic tree of life for Kynorhynchia, as Kynorhynchia was originally thought to be closely related to the phyla articulata, consisting of Anilida, Tarigrata, Onificophora, and Arthropoda, but has been recently challenged by the Extazoa hypothesis, uniting all molting animals such as Tardigrata, Onicophora, Arthropoda nematoda, Nematophora, Kynorhynchia, and Priopolita. Only recently starting to be studied, Kynorhynchia are a relatively new taxon in which discoveries are still being made, so that accounts for the uncertainty. So as you can see by the tree in front of you, it's from a published journal called Molecular Phylogenetics and Evolution by John Malat and Gonzalo Girabet that contains the official phylogeny for Kynorhynchia. And you can see that the taxon itself has split off before deuterosomes come into play, and it's actually different from our character and 16S genetic phylogenies that we made in lab, as Kynorhynchia are actually mixed in with both protosomes and deuterosomes in the ones that we made. This difference could be due to the fact that the published phylogeny uses two different genes, the 28S and 18S mRNA genes, to produce this tree, and the genetic matrix const constructed in lab used 16S genes, and the character matrix was built solely off of physical characters, which does not necessarily represent evolution. However, in both phylogenies, Kynorhynchia is closely related to arthropoda and worms such as nematoda.